NASVA's Transport Safety Management Services. The commitment of drivers and transport businesses towards safety is what created the transport safety we have today. To prevent automobile accidents, including those involving buses, taxis, trucks, and other transport business vehicles, NASVA, the National Agency for Automotive Safety and Victims Aid, provides training courses for vehicle operation managers and aptitude tests for drivers. Following the implementation of the Transport Safety Management System in October 2006, we introduced our Transport Safety Management Services, which is geared toward those in the management level. This made NASVA's accident prevention business available to all the transport businesses in Japan. Now, let us look at what NASVA's Transport Safety Management Services entail. Today, we will cover these three categories. Transport Safety Management Evaluation ISO 39001 Consulting and Safety Management Consulting. We'll begin with Transport Safety Management Evaluation. Transport Safety Management Evaluation Authorized by the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, Transport and Tourism, NASVA's Transport Safety Management Evaluation confirms whether the safety management systems established and implemented by transport businesses are effective and offers advice related to it. More specifically, NASVA evaluators interview the top executives and those in management. The interviews are in line with the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, Transport and Tourism's 14 guideline clauses regarding how transport businesses should proceed with safety management. We also examine documents, records and other materials, and this allows us to provide detailed advice. A report containing the evaluation results and details is presented to the transport business. Businesses that have undergone NASPA's Transport Safety Management Evaluation can use the report to reinforce their policies and prevent accidents. We will now introduce the general flow of NASVA's Transport Safety Management Evaluation with a short play. This is the basic schedule of the Transport Safety Management Evaluation process. The two-day evaluation is held approximately two months after an application has been received. Let's take a look at the opening meeting that is held on day one. Thank you, Mr. Tozai, and everyone from management for attending today's Transport Safety Management Evaluation. I would like to begin by introducing my team. This is Mr. Takayama. Hello, nice to meet you and Miss Matsumoto. Nice to meet you. And I'm the evaluation team leader, Yasuoka. We look forward to working with you. Here is a simple explanation regarding the objective of this evaluation. Moving along to the schedule, we will hold an interview with Mr. Tozai, the company president, from 10.20 to 11 a.m., after which we will interview Mr. Saito, the safety manager. We will then take a one-hour break and interview executive safety manager Ms. Oda from 1 p.m. The opening meeting that is held on day one begins with the evaluator's self-introduction followed by a review of the schedule for the next two days, 
and an explanation regarding the objective of the Transport Safety Management Evaluation. After the opening meeting is the interview with the top executive. We will now begin our interview with Mr. Tozai, the company president. It's my pleasure. Mr. Tozai, could you please tell us what your thoughts and policies are regarding transport safety? Let me see. While creating profit is a priority, there will be no profit without safety. This is why we are working to implement various safety policies. I see. The interview with the top executive generally centers around their corporate philosophy, ideals, and responsibilities as the top executive. We will now watch the safety manager interview. Here, the focus is on the system that the company created based on the 14 clauses listed in the MLIT's guidelines, its plans, implementation, the study of the results, and any subsequent adjustments. Called the PDCA cycle, it is what the interview is based on. We will now begin our interview with Safety Manager Saito. Thank you for your time. It's my pleasure. You listed a greater focus on education and training as a safety priority measure. How exactly are you going about this? Well, for one, we create a yearly plan regarding the study sessions and their content. We then carry out the plan. I see. How do you stay abreast of the situation and the session's progress? I'm notified of when each location is holding their study session. That's how I follow their progress. Okay. And how do you assess their effectiveness? We hold comprehensive tests and also have the participants fill in questionnaires. Based on the results, what improvements have you made? Although comprehension is improving, it's hard to assess how the studies are being applied in the field. In the questionnaires, there were requests for on-the-job training, so we are planning to incorporate it from next year. What did you think? We've just seen how an interview of a safety manager was carried out based on the PDCA cycle. Preparing safety measures is one of the basics of the transport business and is an area that needs constant improvement with the PDCA cycle. After the interviews, the evaluators inspect various things, including documents, records, and business offices. This concludes Day 1. On Day 2 is the closing meeting, where the team leader explains the evaluation results. Now please have a look at the evaluation report. In this evaluation, we focused on two areas. The first is how aware top management is of the current issues and is proactively involved in resolving them. The second is the education and training of the drivers. In the advisory column is some advice on how to design an internal audit structure so that you can assess its effectiveness. We've also included advice on how the company's safety management system can be improved. We hope you will refer to it at your meetings. Now if you will take a look at the next page. Next, we have an actual interview with business owners who received a Transport Safety Management Evaluation from NASVA. NASVA's assessment of our company included some advice about the urgent need to improve and to create a precise internal audit system. Since the audit is conducted by our own company employees, I think all employees are being more careful about their actions. Up until now, employees would only judge their own behavior, and they did things the way that they've always done them. 
Now with the internal audit system, they have other employees to inspect their behavior, and I think it makes a big difference. Having a third party inspect our company helped to reveal some of our faults. Now we are thinking about concrete solutions to problems, especially focusing on management. I think the establishment of an audit system was a big step forward for our company. Lack of communication with our drivers was one cause of concern for us. We decided to start a new program called the AZC Campaign, the Accident Zero Challenge Campaign. NASFA's suggestion was to divide our 50 drivers into four teams and have them compete in the categories of safe driving and zero accidents. This increased the communication between drivers and between drivers and management. I feel that the level of awareness about safety has also increased. Our drivers are professionals and they take pride in their driving skills. They show deep concern when a co-worker is involved in an accident. By having them think about that, I think the realization that an accident is a frightening thing has taken root in their minds. ISO 39001 Consulting We will now introduce NASFA's ISO 39001 Consulting. It is geared towards transport businesses that are looking to be ISO 39001 certified. NASFA has established a Japan Mirror Committee made up of experts with extensive knowledge regarding Japan's road traffic system. As the Secretariat, NASFA plays a key role in managing ISO 39001 in Japan and serves as a liaison for the International Committee of the ISO, the International Organization for Standardization. ISO 39001 is a published international standard. Effective October 2012, the objective is to reduce deaths and serious injuries due to road traffic accidents. As with ISO 9001 and ISO 14001, this standard stipulates requirements that are necessary for organizations to establish, implement, maintain, and improve a suitable road traffic safety management system in accordance with PDCA cycle. Here are some of the effects of ISO 39001 certification. A decrease in traffic accidents less compensation, repair, and insurance fees. It consolidates the organization's social standing. It contributes to business continuity. Let's take a look at the ISO 39001 certification and renewal process. Businesses that pass the registration and examination are issued a certificate of registration that is valid for three years. Surveillance is held every year and the certificate must be renewed at the three-year point. So what is NASFA's ISO 39001 Consulting? Let's take a look at a case example. Please have a seat. Thank you. Thank you. I understand that you have some questions about ISO 39001. Yes. You see, last month we had a serious accident. I'm sorry to hear that. How has the situation been since then? Well, we thought we had taken sufficient transport safety management measures but in reality, the number of accidents hasn't gone down much. In light of the recent accident, the representative director has instructed us to review and restructure our current safety management system. The number of businesses that obtain ISO 39001 certification increases every year. NASFA's ISO 39001 Consulting Service assists companies for about 10 months in accordance with the necessary requirements. 
Now, let's return to the play. I see. Here. Thank you. Here. ISO 39001 requires that you identify the risks that lead to traffic accidents, assess how big an effect each one has, and pinpoint the ones that need your focused attention. Let's try to identify the risks in your company's operations that could lead to traffic accidents. I understand. Could you think of any risks in your daily operations? Well, I guess the number one factor is speed. If our drivers would stick to the company's designated speed limit, then it would probably reduce the severity of any accidents that do occur. All right. Speed is definitely a big risk factor. What sort of countermeasures do you have in mind for this problem? We are thinking of utilizing digital taco graphs to monitor the driver's speed. Those that repeatedly exceed the set speed will receive instructions from the operation manager after roll call. That would be good. Starting with the step you just mentioned, let's continue working towards ISO 39001 certification. In NASFA's ISO 39001 Consulting, special emphasis is placed on risk analysis, which is one of ISO 39001's important requirements. We advise companies on ways to make continual improvements. In the latter half of the drama, various activities have been completed, and the ISO 39001 audit is about to begin. Ms. Shimzu, with your help, we have been able to establish a traffic safety management system and have begun implementing it. That's good to hear. Let's contact the certification body and have them audit it. Yes. yes. We will now begin the ISO 39001 audit process. Thank you for your time. We Thank appreciate you. it. To jump right in, you listed reduce accident liabilities by half as one of your company goals. To accomplish this, you are aiming to eliminate speeding completely. Could you tell us how you drew up this plan? In accordance with the ISO 39001 requirements, we clarified and assessed the risks that our company faces, identified the areas that we should put priority on, and established it as our goal for this fiscal year. I see. May I see the risk assessment list? Yes. Here's our company's risk assessment list. During the ISO 39001 registration process, auditors from the certification body will interview the business staff and check the on-site documents. By doing this, they will be able to confirm whether the business meets the necessary requirements. Businesses that pass the audit are issued a certificate of registration that is valid for three years. With this, the business is ISO 39001 certified. Here are interviews with business owners that received ISO 39001 certification through NASFA. The cost to obtain certification is comparatively high. After getting certification, the cost of certification updates, etc., is also high. So we had to deliberate, and some people thought that there was no incentive to obtain the certification. However, looking at our current results, the number of accidents has actually decreased because of the certification. So, I would like to see more operators working to obtain certification. If more companies have the ISO 39001 certification, I think that our operations market will become a better driving environment for everyone in the future. I would like more companies to make an effort such as this in order to realize their dreams for the future. 
Our main reason for obtaining ISO 39001 certification was to decrease the number of accidents, even a little. We focused on communicating the intentions of the management side to our on-site drivers. In fact, I think we are moving in a good direction, with a sense of unity that we didn't have before. People's morals have undoubtedly improved. If we can have even one fewer accident, and we can show actual results, then I think the certification was necessary. Our people, meaning the employees who participate in the ISO certification, are a very individualistic group, but NASVA staff members have been surprisingly patient in this matter. So my impression is a favorable one. Safety Management Consulting Lastly, we'll introduce NASPA's Safety Management Consulting. This is conducted with transport business executives. NASPA's Safety Management Consulting promotes and supports the creation and operation of safe transport businesses. Ones in which every person, from management to the drivers, is proactively thinking about ways to improve and taking the initiative. Specifically when 1. You want to reduce the number of accidents. 2. There are worries regarding the business's safety management system. 3. An internal audit structure is difficult to design. 4. The business is uncertain about how to establish a transport safety management system that meets all the requirements. 5. Further measures are found to be needed after the transport safety management evaluation. NASVA Safety Management Consulting is effective in these situations, as has already been demonstrated in various cases. The first is in a decrease in accidents. In the case of Truck Company A, they were able to decrease accidents by 61% and Taxi Company B by 20%. Accident-related costs also went down. As you can see, both companies experienced a substantial decrease in accident-related losses. There was also a change in their insurance discount rates. Both Truck Company A and Taxi Company B had over a 70% discount rate when their contract was renewed. NASVA's Safety Management Consulting menu has eight custom-made options that cover everything from safety awareness and system organization to plan implementation. Depending on the customer's requests, the consulting plan could take three months to six months. We will now introduce business owners who have personally experienced NASVA's safety management consulting. NASVA acts kind of like a partner that supports the precise establishment of our transport safety management division. They handle everything with great care. So, they are not simply a third party, but true professionals. Not only that, NASVA has the actual experience of having seen various other companies in the same business. So that means that they know the benchmarks of other companies. With the knowledge of those benchmarks, they can give us suggestions about our own company's strength and environment. I think it is best to work with them for those reasons. I think that some statements are easier to accept from a third party. I would like our employees to keep the necessity of safety management in mind. They have undergone training in accident prevention measures. I think some interesting activities are the near-miss analysis and the why-why analysis. We are continuing them even now. Asking why an accident happened, a manager and a driver write a claim investigating the cause. Once they find the cause and they are aware of why the accident happened, they can prevent the same thing from happening again. It's a good experiment, and it's good that we can continue doing it.
For me, NASFA staff are very approachable, and they handle our consultations with great care. I think NASFA has very good advisors and is a reliable partner. Well, everyone, what did you think of NASFA's Transport Safety Management Services? Even if you want to improve safety, you may have questions about what exact steps to take or whether your current system is correct. If you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to contact us here at NASFA. In addition to the Transport Safety Management Evaluation, ISO 39001 Consulting, and Safety Management Consulting that we have introduced today, we also have other accident prevention services, such as Lecturer Dispatch for Accident Prevention Seminars geared towards drivers, Safety Management Seminars for the management level, NASFA Safety Management Seminars, and more. Our goal is to provide support on every front, and we look forward to assisting you. We at NASFA are using our Transport Safety Management Services to eliminate automobile accidents. We will continue to contribute towards a safe, secure and comfortable society.